Hi, uh, my name is Jeff Rickley. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I sing for a couple bands, one of them being Thursday, another one United Nations, No Devotion. I got to do some stuff with Ink and Dagger a while ago. Um, I'm really glad to be here at the Exotic Fever uh, anniversary celebration. Um, so many friends and artists that I admire here on the stream, and um, most of all, just uh, so excited to celebrate with Katie, who, like so many of you, I'm sure, has been just an instrumental figure in my life. And um, yeah, I can't believe it's 20 years, but I also can't believe it's only 20 years. Um, I feel like Katie has fundamentally shaped the way I think about so many things. Um, anyway, I'm going to play, I'm going to start with the first song that I ever uh, played for Katie when we were first putting Thursday together. The song's called The Side of Brightness. Stitched all these dead on the streets to the sewn up seams of my heartstrings. Unwind, unwind like a petal bolt from an open flower. Surround by fields where children sigh but don't make a sound. strong. All right. Um, I'm going to play a song uh, that I wrote uh, by myself when Thursday broke up the first time before we got back together. Um, I remember talking to Katie about this, about, um, you know, I, I just was so sick of, of selling music, you know, of being places where the, the number one goal kept getting prioritized was like, how many people are going to buy it? How many people are going to come see it? And, um, and, and one of the things that she said is, you know, it's, it's, it's a pattern that through all of uh, our, our whole culture, there's a big emphasis on creation and consumption, and there's no space given to processing. 
and um, that really hit me. You know, I felt like I hadn't processed anything for years. Um, so I wrote this song uh, just for myself and put it out on a mixtape on Bandcamp for me. Um, it was so freeing. Um, it's called Me Some Peace. <coughs> still working. Great. <laughs> um, a few years before that, um, Thursday made a record called War All The Time. Um, and uh, and I, I used to tell my band members that this song was my attempt to write a jingle for uh, Lockheed and Martin. Um, and they said, uh, "Why would you know? Why would anybody want to write a song for Lockheed and Martin?" And I felt like anybody playing uh, American music uh, since 2002 has been writing a jingle for Lockheed and Martin because, you know, all of this exported American culture um, is so tied inextricably to the imperialism and the war craziness, uh, the war economy that this country has been pumping out since then. I mean, since long before then, but it's been nonstop since then. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is called This Song Has Been Brought to You by Fallen Bomb. Jet plane, yawning miles across. 
all planned out but now I'm playing faster than I can so I'm gonna have to play a little extra I think <clears throat> this song's called Time's Arrow it's about wishing you could turn back time and change everything Thank you. 
doctor comes in off the street, the stitch gets pulled out of the bleed. Mothers jump down in their seat. See, time's arrow, it's turning back to me. Disappear into a side We'll all rise like snowflakes in the sky Tonight <clears throat> Rocky Road <clears throat> I'm gonna drop the D you know, and end things with a giant mosh <clears throat> um, really psyched that I get to play with Warren women. Awesome. I'm psyched to play with all the artists here today. Um, some of whose music I've been listening to for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, always an honor to play with friends. <laughs> music. Close enough. All right? Um, song's a, a Thursday song and with it's called Cross Out the Eyes. Take care.